Hello friends and welcome back. For the first time, a domestic businessman has purchased 40,000 tons of crude oil extracted from the Amu Darya wells, amounting to a value of $20 million. The governor of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan in Sarapol province of Afghanistan has confirmed that the government earns $600,000 per day from oil extraction in the Kashkari wells. On a daily basis, approximately 650 to 900 tons of oil are extracted from these wells, with a portion of the income being allocated towards development projects in the area. Currently, oil is being extracted from 15 wells, and there are plans to increase the number of wells in the future. Ministry of Energy and Water is looking for financing the construction of the Abdar Sultan Ibrahim Dam through oil extraction funds and has announced that the dam's construction will commence next year. A few months ago, the governor of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan in Sarapol visited the Kashkari oil field and instructed the Afghan forces to collaborate with the Chinese company's employees involved in the extraction process to ensure security. The Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan is concerned about the potential threats posed by the Khorasan branch of ISIS or other military adversaries which could jeopardize the safety of the oil-rich region of Kashkari. In 2023, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan made a significant decision by entrusting the extraction of the Kashgari oil field and other Amu Darya oil fields in Jiaoxian and Faryab provinces to a Chinese company named Xinjiang Gas and Petroleum. This agreement, spanning 25 years, solidifies Central Asia's role in the oil industry. The Amu Darya oil region alone boasts a capacity of 87 million barrels, with 20% of the resources benefiting the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. The extraction process for the Kashkari oil fields commenced this year with an initial capacity of 50 tons of crude oil per day. Remarkably, the Chinese company successfully elevated the level of oil extraction. Given China's significant presence in Afghanistan's consumer market, it is anticipated that their economic influence will further expand with the continued governance of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. The Chinese government has declared its willingness to assist in the reconstruction efforts of Afghanistan. Qin Gang, the former foreign minister of China, stated earlier this year that China is prepared to enhance coordination with Pakistan regarding the Afghanistan issue and contribute to the peaceful reconstruction process of the country. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China quoted the foreign minister as saying that China is ready to strengthen cooperation with Pakistan on the matter of Afghanistan, as well as support the country's peaceful reconstruction, stability and progress in the region. The Chinese foreign minister also emphasized that the collaboration between Beijing and Islamabad aligns with global development and security initiatives. Furthermore, a meeting took place in Doha, Qatar, which focused on Afghanistan and was attended by China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Iran, Japan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Norway, Pakistan and some other countries of the region. The objective of this two-day meeting was to establish a common understanding within the international community on how to engage with the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Prior to this, the Ministry of Mines and Minerals of the Interim Government of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan announced that officials and representatives of the Chinese company, Goin, expressed their interest in investing $10 billion in Afghanistan's lithium reserves during a meeting with Shahabuddin Delawa, the acting minister of mines and petroleum in Kabul. According to the statement, this investment is expected to generate 120,000 direct jobs and 1 million indirect jobs in the country. 
Additionally, the company intends to rebuild the Salang route and construct another tunnel within a span of seven months. The Chinese company also announced a significant 300% increase in oil production in Afghanistan. The drilling of over 10 new oil wells in Afghanistan has played a crucial role in the remarkable growth experienced by the country. By partnering with the Central Asia Oil and Gas Company from China, Afghanistan has managed to quadruple its daily oil production to 5,000 barrels. This significant achievement was made possible through an agreement signed in Kabul in 2023. The Ministry of Mines and Petroleum of Afghanistan has confirmed that the new wells have had a tremendous impact on the country's oil production. This milestone marks a significant turning point for Afghanistan's energy sector, which has traditionally relied heavily on oil imports, particularly from Iran. Recent reports from Bloomberg indicate that these developments are a result of the strengthened relations between Afghanistan under the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan rule and China. This partnership extends beyond diplomatic ties and includes substantial economic investments made by China in various regions of Afghanistan. The China Central Asia Oil and Gas Corporation in Xinjiang has expressed its commitment to continue drilling in this field and exploring new areas. As per the contract signed in 2023, this Chinese company is obligated to invest $150 million this year and a total of $540 million over the next three years for oil exploration and production in Afghanistan. With the successful implementation of these projects, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan government stands to earn $500 million annually. Afghanistan heavily relies on imported oil products, spending over $1 billion annually due to the underdeveloped state of its estimated 150 million barrels of oil reserves. The daily production of 5,000 barrels from the Kashkari field accounts for 10% of the country's oil consumption. However, Afghanistan's true wealth lies in its mineral reserves, including copper, gold and precious stones, which are estimated to be worth between $1 trillion to $3 trillion. The relationship between the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan and China extends beyond oil and mines as evidenced by China's significant increase in exports to Afghanistan, surpassing $1 billion in just 10 months. Afghanistan's exports to China have also grown, reaching $43 million with a 30% increase. The extraction of oil in Afghanistan not only creates economic opportunities and national development, but also brings various benefits such as increased income, which can be utilized for infrastructure projects, social improvements, and enhancing the local population's economic status. Additionally, it contributes to job creation, technological advancements, and overall improvement in living conditions. Furthermore, the local production of oil can significantly decrease reliance on imported oil and its associated products, thereby bolstering the national economy. The extraction of oil in Afghanistan not only presents economic and developmental prospects for the country, but also contributes to the enhancement of its socio-economic infrastructure. By generating additional revenue through oil sales, Afghanistan can establish a stable financial foundation for various development and construction projects, leading to job creation and an increase in employment rates. Moreover, the growth of the oil industry in Afghanistan can diminish the country's dependence on energy imports and foster economic independence. Through collaboration opportunities with international partners, Afghanistan can progress towards a path of sustainable and well-balanced development. Consequently, the pivotal role played by oil in Afghanistan holds significant importance in achieving developmental goals and improving the living conditions of its people. 
Thank you for your watching and see you in the next video.